Hello and welcome to this week's PS4 O'Clock, the first of 2014 and the big news this week is that Sony have announced PlayStation Now, their Gakai based streaming service, is what Andy House is doing right behind me. So this streams PS3 games to PlayStation consoles, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, also to Sony Bravia TVs and tablets and mobile devices. Now at the moment they're only talking about PlayStation 3 games but they are thinking about or they want to stream to PS2 and PS1 games that will come in the future when they've got the system in place and working. Now as far as the PlayStation devices, so the consoles, PS4, 3 and Vita go, they play basically as you might expect, you stream the service in like you would Netflix or, or Love Film and then you play the game on your TV in terms of interacting with the console and the, and the pad, it's essentially the same experience, just streamed content as opposed to off the disc or hard drive. With the Sony Bravia TVs, it will stream directly to this year's models and onwards Bravias, and you use a Bluetooth connection to sync PS3 pad directly to the TV. So you can be playing a game without any additional hardware, just the TV and a pad. Now, of the games that were demoed at the Consumer Electronics Show, there was The Last of Us, Beyond Two Souls, God of War Ascension, and Puppeteer. Now, you may remember that Naughty Dog were asked a little while ago if they were planning to port The Last of Us to PS4, and they said to simply see what the future brings. It's now clear that this PlayStation Now service is what they were hinting at, because it will enable you to stream the PS3 version of The Last of Us through your PS4 and other devices and play it that way. Now the experience of what people saw at the show has generally been described very positively. The, the Gakai servers that were providing the game stream were only down the hall is the term that was used, but they were still providing very low latency, very high quality game stream. Now the standout demonstration at the show appears to have been The Last of Us on PS Vita. Apparently the game looks incredible on the OLED screen on a Vita, Latency is very low. Overall, the whole experience was described as being like remote play, as if it was just being streamed by a nearby console. When it comes to the larger screens, so the 50-inch Bravias that were being used to demo the games, there was some evidence of artifacting, some blocking of darker colours. It is a compressed video stream, so the larger the screen you play it on, the lower the quality you're gonna gonna get. But Sony are aiming to, to make it look as good and play as fast as they possibly can. They've been testing it for a while now and Sony recommend that 5 megabit per second internet speed is, is the minimum. That's as low as they've gone and still been able to provide a snappy, good looking game through an internet connection. They've talked about how the service can optimise according to your speed, so if you have a very fast internet connection then you'll get a very high quality stream, good picture quality, very good latency. If your connection then drops, then you will start to get slightly less quality. The aim is to make the latency as low as possible. Sony have kind of hinted that you can play multiplayer, and they, they've said that sort of Twitch gaming multiplayer gaming will be possible on PlayStation Now because the latency is, is low enough. They have already tested it, they've done some stealth testing, so if you played Journey and you were joined by another player in the game, that could have been someone playing Journey via a PlayStation Now stream. That was one of the ways they tested it with the PSN network and their existing kind of infrastructure. The service actually uses um, Sony Entertainment Network and PSN IDs, so you should be able to carry it, well you can, carry over your trophies, uh, saves and so forth, so you can pick it up on any device. You should be able to just carry your PSN ID straight over to the new service. One of Sony's community managers mentioned something called PSN Now, which I suspect is a PlayStation Now specific version of a PSN ID for those people who don't have a PlayStation device. But as I say, your, your console, your Vita, your PS4, PS3 should just carry its PSN ID over. In terms of pricing, they haven't put any strict numbers on it. They've instead outlined a rental and a subscription model. So you could hire a game for a fixed period or you could subscribe to the service as a whole and play as many games as you want for a, for a monthly fee, I guess like Netflix, just get through whatever's available each month. So that's the service. The bad news is that 
so far only a US release date has been outlined. They're talking about a beta at the end of January and then a US release date somewhere around about summer. With the UK and Europe, the variation in internet speeds is a lot more inconsistent. So we have a different internet speed in the UK, France, Italy, Germany, Romania, all these different countries have different levels of internet connection. Sony is citing that as a reason for not having a, US, a UK plan in place here or a Europe plan. They're looking at this more varied infrastructure and trying to find a way of delivering a smooth service to all of Europe at once. So it's a bit of a shame, no dates yet. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. But there you go, that's the first big PlayStation news of the year. PlayStation now, a Gakkai based streaming service that currently streams PS3 games with PS2 and PS1 games planned later on to your PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, PS Vita consoles. It also streams to Sony Bravia TVs from this year model, this year's models onwards, and also to internet enabled devices, essentially smartphones and tablets. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I shall try and answer them. If you have anything you'd like me to try and do for next week's PS4 o'clock, also leave a comment and uh, I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.